In math today, we are covering lesson 92, dividing by two digit numbers. You'll find this on page 481 of your textbook. So our first example is 150 divided by 12. Okay, the steps play out the same in regular, in, in any other division problem that you've worked in. You know, so first I look to see if 12 can go into one, and of course it can't but 12 can go into 15 one time. So I put the one above the five of the 15. 12 times one is 12. I'm subtracting 15 minus 12 is three. I'm bringing down the zero, okay? And how many times can 12 go into 30? That would be two. So the two gets placed above the zero. 12 times two is 24. I'm subtracting 30 minus 24 is 6. I do not have any other digits to bring down, so the answer is 12 with a remainder of 6. What if I didn't get my math right? What if I'm questioning whether I did this right or not? Okay, this is how we check. We take the quotient 12 and we multiply it by the divisor 12. Okay, 12 times 12 is 144. And then I have to take the remainder and add it in. 144 plus six is 150, which matches the dividend, 150. So I know that I did my math correctly. All right, let's look at another example. Found on page 482, we have 987 divided by 32. Now, so we're getting into some bigger numbers, and nobody has the 32s memorized, right? So a little trick we can do is ask ourselves, how many times can 3 go into 9? And that's 3 times. So off to the side, I'm gonna see what 32 times three is. Three times two is six, and three times three is nine. And look at that, so it's 96, which is less than 98, so I can use that. So I'm using the three, putting it right above the eight. 96, subtracting it, which is two, and I'm bringing down the seven, okay? And 32 can't go into 27, and I don't have um, any remainders, okay? So I, what I have to do is I have to put a zero above that seven. 32 times zero is zero. 27 is my remainder, because I didn't have any more digits to bring down. So one thing I want to point out is anytime you have a remainder, make sure your remainder is less than your divisor. If your remainder is bigger than your divisor, then you have missed a step and you need to re restart start it over and redo it, okay? But let's go ahead and do a check to see if we did our math right this time. So I have 32 times 30. Well, what I'm gonna do is 32 times three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, okay? And I'm gonna add in that zero, and now I'm gonna add in my remainder, seven, eight, nine, which matches the dividend. Mm -hmm. 